Now tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasha looks at how the virus affects your health and why it works differently from the common cold, even though it's part of the same family of viruses. We need to understand what is a coronavirus. They're a family of viruses that have been around for eons, causing everything from the common cold to SARS and MERS, which are severe pneumonias which can compromise your ability to breathe and can even cause death. The coronaviruses get their names because when viewed under a microscope, they have what appears to be a halo or a crown known as a corona surrounding it. Here's how they work. When a coronavirus gives you a cold, it works differently than the form of the virus that gives you the symptoms of COVID-19. It's the so-called spikes on the virus which make the difference. When a version of the virus has a spike which attaches to your nose, you get a cold. Like SARS and MERS, the COVID-19 version of the virus attaches to your lungs where it replicates. Because it makes copies of itself, you can pass that infection on through coughing and sneezing. How does it affect you? If you catch the virus, here's what happens. Inside your lungs, as it replicates, it kills the cells in your lungs, making it difficult to breathe. If that condition gets severe enough, you need to be hospitalized. So how is it treated and cured? In the case of most viruses, we rely on our immune system to fight it off. But COVID-19 is a new virus, and our bodies have yet to figure out how to create antibodies to destroy it. Those with weakened immune systems may have a difficult time doing that. And since there's no vaccine or medicines developed yet to cure the virus, if you're hospitalized in it, the best doctors can do is treat you with oxygen and fluids. And doctors say most people who get that virus recover without hospitalization in about two weeks. As for a vaccine, right now they're still working on getting those clinical trials done to make sure it's safe and effective. And then they'll put the virus out for general availability. We're still talking a year or more away. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.